Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're talking about pickup trucks and how they have just gotten way too expensive. Like the pickup truck situation is way out of hand, and we need to talk about what automakers should do to remedy this situation. Before we get in this video, though, as always, if you're gonna save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. So pretty much every single vehicle has increased in price by a pretty large margin over the course of the last few years, but it seems like pickup trucks have outpaced the overall market. I mean, again, it's gonna vary segment by segment, you know, manufacturer by manufacturer, but it seems like most cars have increased in price by five, 10, 15, 20%, which that's still a lot. But I mean, you look at pickup trucks and it seems like the norm is that most of them have increased in price by like 20 to 30, 40, even 50%, depending on the pickup truck, depending on the manufacturer, depending on the segment. And I mean, when you look at like the dollar amounts, I think this really shows just how crazy things have gotten with pickup trucks. So if you look at like, compact cars, you know, affordable cars, like think Toyota Corolla, Honda Civic, for example, you know, those cars, those types of cars could be had at around, you know, $20,000 brand new prior to the pandemic. Some of them were like 25 to maybe $30,000. It was like a super decked out compact car. And if you look at compact cars today, you know, it's harder to find $20,000 cars, but you know, 25, $30,000, they're in that range. And so again, they've had a price increased closer to probably about that 15 to 20% range. You look at pickup trucks, however, and it's like prior to the pandemic, you could find a lot of pickup trucks, full-size pickup trucks, to be more specific, for under $40,000. Mid-size pickup trucks, you could find some for under $30,000, brand spanking new, right? Now you look at pickup truck prices now, and it's like mid-size pickup trucks, $40,000 basically buys you, you know, a mid-size pickup truck that has enough creature comforts that you'd want to own it for a long period of time. And if you want to get a decked out one, you're over $50,000 now. And then you look at full-size pickup trucks and you can't even touch one for less than $50,000, it seems, right? That's just what all of the trucks are specced out to be. And if you want like a fully decked out pickup truck, now it's going to cost you like eighty, ninety thousand dollars And prior to the pandemic, you can get a fully decked out pickup truck in the fifty dollars maybe $60,000 range if you, if, you know, the manufacturer was going to go really crazy with the price. And so, I mean, the price increases are just astronomically higher with these pickup trucks compared to other vehicles in the market. And so it's no wonder that these pickup trucks, especially full-size pickup trucks, are not selling all that well. And something that I do need to mention before we move forward with the video is there is a gap between full-size pickup trucks and mid-size pickup trucks in today's market. Mid-size pickup trucks are actually still selling quite well. And I think a big part of that reason is, well, first off, there's a lot of people getting kicked out of the full-size pickup truck market that are now mid-size pickup truck buyers just because of the price point of the vehicles. And secondly, a lot of automakers have recently released new mid-size pickup trucks. And so production just isn't as high with mid-size pickup trucks as what it normally is. And so there's kind of like this situation where there's just a really tight supply right now. And so there's no real discounts on those. And it looks like they're selling really well, but I promise you once these automakers ramp up production with these mid-size pickup trucks, there's going to be a buildup of supply because of the prices that we're at. And I think that that's the thing that we should focus on. Again, you look at the price increases with mid-size pickup trucks and especially full-size pickup trucks, and they have outpaced the market by a massive amount. And this is why car dealerships have to discount, especially, like I said, full-size pickup trucks, huge amounts to convince people to buy them. And even with a lot of these steep discounts, people just aren't really interested. Like I've had dealers tell me that they had these trucks sitting in their lot and they had them posted online at below cost, below what the dealership paid for the vehicle, and they don't have anyone interested in them whatsoever. And so this shows that the price of the product does not reflect the value that product provides in today's market and the demand for that product. Like if there was, if the value was there and if the demand was there, people would be buying them and they are obviously not. And so this leads me into talking about what I think automakers could do to remedy this situation. So first off, obviously they've priced themselves out of the market, right? And I think that pickup trucks are just a special type of vehicle in the market when it comes to the whole pricing situation because pickup trucks are utility vehicles, right? You can use them as a daily driver. You can use them as a family vehicle. And then obviously they can do work, right? They have a truck bed they can tow. And so if people aren't buying pickup trucks, that shows like 
weaknesses in the overall market for sure but that definitely shows that like an automaker is charging way too much money for that vehicle like i can understand if a non-utility vehicle isn't selling because you know maybe there's just not enough hype behind the vehicle at a given time and so once there's hype behind the vehicle then it'll sell but with utility type vehicles the reason they don't sell is because the utility that they provide at the price point that they are at does not equate if that makes sense so they obviously are too expensive. The prices need to come down. I think that automakers need to release much bigger discounts compared to what they have right now. There are some discounts on these trucks, but the automakers need to get a lot more aggressive to get rid of this pickup truck inventory. And then on top of that, I think that automakers need to pull back on the packaging they have on these pickup trucks. If you go look at pretty much any pickup truck, especially with the American automakers, what you'll find is that there's a base MSRP and then there's a total MSRP and the price difference is absolutely enormous enormous because there's tons of options you can add to these pickup trucks. And, you know, again, I understand why that is the case with some of these trucks, because, you know, there are certain options that make sense for certain, you know, work things that someone's going to do with a pickup truck. And it's like, if you're not going to do that job, then you don't need that option. So why would you pay for it? And if you do need that option, right, then you want to pay extra so that you can have that truck that's capable for um, that particular thing. But, for the most part, if you look at a lot of these options, it's just different, you know, interior packages you can get with the pickup trucks to make them fancier or basically to make them look a certain way. And this is where I think that, you know, the truck makers have kind of gotten a little bit out of hand at this point. And I think that this is why Toyota is still so successful with the Tundra currently. The Tundra is like the only full-size pickup truck that is completely sold out in today's market. And if you look at the Tundra, you can add some options options to the truck, but almost everything is standard. It's like, if you want a base model Tundra, you get an SR5. If you want the off-road package, it's the TRD off-road. If you want more off-road capability, they have a TRD Pro. If you want more luxury, you have a limited. If you want even more luxury, you have a platinum. And then, you know, they do have, like I said, some options. It's like, do you want air suspension? That's an option, for example. And then the TRD off-road, that's an option. So again, if you look at how they have everything packaged out, it's like you have the main package and then you have a few options you can add. It's not like Ford or Ram or Chevy, where it's like, you've got the main package and then you have like 50 different option packages that you can add to it. So I think if the American automobile makers especially kind of pulled things together and simplified the trucks. Yes, this means that they would probably make less money on the trucks because there wouldn't be as many options to shove into the trucks, but that would kind of go hand in hand with bringing the prices down and with simplifying things in the market so that they wouldn't have trucks that sit because another reason why a lot of these trucks end up sitting is because they have options on them that people don't want, or they don't have options that people do want. And so if things were more simplified, it would just make the whole process a lot better for truck buyers. Anyways, let me know what you would like to see if you are a truck buyer from automakers outside of what I mentioned in this video. I'll see you.